Hello everyone, Trigon here. Welcome back to Planet Crafter. Don't forget, if you like this video, tickle that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. You can see we have fishes everywhere. Um, I actually tried to get a video out earlier this week, but uh, it was a mess. My brain just, just was not working this week. <laughs> Your brain doesn't work any week. Eh, yeah, sadly true, but it was worse than usual. I did get some things done. Uh, as you can see, I got some frogs. I don't know if you guys noticed it. I don't know if I got it on camera or not, but uh, that last distant wreck we went to, I got two frog eggs, two nice frog eggs. So I got these put out. Um, I also got some fish stuff put out and uh, got a second rocket put out, but this is just here for me to be able to purchase stuff, which I did do purchase quite a few things. Uh, and that's just cloth. Maybe I should take the cloth off from there so we get more good stuff going out. We'll see. Got some more beehives made. Uh, I've got uh, tier two and tier three mutagen uh, automated, manufacturing automated. Uh, you could see tier one, we're full. Tier two, we're almost full. Tier three, we're full. Tier four, I haven't started on yet. <laughs> but uh, we're to the point we just got access to the insects rocket. And I think in order to get anywhere else, I'm going to have to put up at least one insects rocket. But before we do that, I want to put up another one of these. We've got plenty of energy now, so that's not an issue. That was the whole reason why I didn't put up another one before. Because these do burn a lot of energy. Super alloy and oxygen. Oxygen. Oops. Nope. That's not super alloy. Super alloy. Okay. So yeah, now we'll have three of those and three of these. Uh, I really should put up some more trees too. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I never, I actually, I got, it's sort of funny. This is a complaint I've been having the whole time. I got access to, to these, the fish farms, before I managed to get a tier one uh, uh, aquarium out. So I never bothered with the tier one aquarium. <laughs> We're going to go with fish farms and, and, uh, tier two aquariums didn't it used to be at the fish farm even came after the tier two aquarium isn't it like the ultimate version of it or am i losing my mind what does this give us uh gives us a lot of plants and insects and a lot of animals 585 grams of course that's with a 300 percent why am i edging away from it that's with 300 percent fish on there um all right so we got that bees i don't need to go check i know what we need for bees we need sorry about that i'll be dodging in around all that stuff three of these and three of these i've done enough of these i should have remembered it <laughs> oh so i'm used to running through here real fast and i realize that is horrible on motion sickness for anyone watching uh I know because it makes me motion sick when I watch people's videos like that too. Actually, I've had to give up some of my uh, uh, things I used to do for fun because, you know, some games I used to play and stuff because motion sickness. I get migraines and they've gotten worse in the last couple of years. And so now I get really bad, what they call simulator sickness, which is motion sickness in games. Don't whirl the camera around like that. Yeah. It, it, yeah, that, 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 that's a bad thing. Fortunately, I don't seem to be getting it in this one. I don't know why, but it works well enough for me. I wish I had, they had motion smoothing. That would be really nice. That's one thing I think Farming Simulator has, which I thought was really nice that they put that on there. Uh, if, the, if the description is, is any indicator, they put that on there just for Let's Players so that your videos were a little bit... Uh, easier actually is that in the base game settings or i don't know um i'm rambling again let's go ahead and wait for this stuff to get spawned i forgot this doesn't take very long anymore <laughs> i got the stuff to make three more so we can get a second rocket up too yeah by the time i was done talking this was pretty much done i didn't even really need to take a break i could have just you know kept rambling for 10 seconds longer or whatever <laughs> oops Pull that out. Okay, so now we've got that. What else do we need for this rocket? I do not remember. 
I also want to get over and check out that last ancient site. Osmia, Mutagen 2, and the Rocket Engine. I should have remembered the Mutagen 2. So, let's grab the Osmium first. Let's grab two. As you can see, we're exporting Osmium rods, or were before I did this, because uh, we've got that thing full now. Uh, no, rockets. Two rockets. I'm making rockets, so that's something there. I don't need fusion cells. What was the other thing? Oh, yeah, the mutagen. There we go. We got all that. Is the second set done? It is. <laughs> I do like how much faster this is. I wish the tree ones were just as fast. Is it wait for trees forever? All right. I still think they should have like a bee storm when you launch this. Like, you know, all the early ones, they, they have a storm. Even the plant ones have a storm of some sort that goes off when you launch them. The bee ones are the ones that don't. I just think it'd be cool if we just had this, you know, bee buzz all over the planet and a golden cloud. We've already, already got the sandstorm, which is the right color cloud, you know? Okay, that's one. Hopefully this will give us enough of a boost on our bee production that we get the uh, tier 2 beehive soon. Because that will make it easier to get more of those made. Uh, let's see what this is doing for us here. Oh yeah, insects are going up much faster now. How much do we have of everything here? I've got 10 of the uh, pressure ones. Because we were working on pressure before. We only got two of those. I got four of everything else. I could really do with putting up a couple more. And yeah, let's do it. There we go. In other news, uh, I don't know if you saw, but... Um, oh, not quite there yet. The, uh, they announced that uh, 1.0, the full release of the game, is going to come out on the 10th of April. And uh, it is going to add three new biomes, which I was really surprised about, as well as uh, actual land animals. We're going to get land animals and uh, some other stuff, too, that I don't remember what. <laughs> Let's go get these rockets in the air. So hopefully this will mean we'll get our beehives pretty soon. Because we got to get up, uh, was it triple the amount of stuff we have right now in order to, to get those? It was quite a ways. But this is now a 4,000% boost, so I think that's pretty good. Let's actually look at this. Okay. Yeah, so you see we're going through this pretty fast. Frog displayer, I don't care about it. We've got basically all we've got is is two more frog eggs on there. The bees, the tier two butterfly farm will be nice, and more frog eggs there, more butterflies there. We got another drill coming. Oh, we did get the tier five heater. I, I don't know why I really would need to put that out. To be honest, again, there's nothing left for us to get here. There's nothing left to get on trans uh, terraformation. There's nothing left for us to get on heat. <clears throat> so there's really no reason other than just to amass, you know, points for no reason uh, to do that. Yeah, they moved the aquarium way out here to the end. Oh, and there's our last butterfly seed, it looks like. And that's fish eggs, fish eggs. Yeah, we got a few fish eggs and frog eggs coming in. But yeah, I don't see any reason for the Tier 5 drill or the Tier 5 heater. Uh, hopefully when the 1.0 comes out, there will be more reason for it. Wait a minute, I forgot to check something. Um, here it is. Yeah, we need 225 tons. So it was about, well, not quite triple what we had. And we've added like 50% more onto what we had since I put those rockets up. All right, let's go ahead... Is there anything else I want to do here first? I don't think so. Let's go ahead and... Ooh, let's grab a couple oxygen, because we're going to be swimming a lot. We'll take two oxygen with us. 
and let's go on over here and check out uh, the uh, last ancient site. I don't know what they did with the storms, but it really seems like, and I may have mentioned this before, it really seems like the storms now, they, they never come singly. You get, you know, four, five, six storms in a row, sometimes repeating in a cycle, sometimes not. It is very annoying, <laughs> especially when you don't need anything from those storms and you're just sitting inside waiting for the stupid meteors to stop falling. Has this got anything useful in it? No, I, I'm, I'm going to leave it. Don't need to burden myself with a bunch of stuff I don't need. Uh, there is... Hang on here. Let's try up here. I discovered this a while back, really. I just didn't thought to say anything about it. Where is it now? Uh... I don't know where it is. I know when I was in the uh, one um, uh, 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 Pulsar Quartz Cave, I found that the back end of it, one end of the back end of it now comes out behind this waterfall. I'm pretty sure it's behind this waterfall. I'm just not sure where because I saw it from the other end. So I really, you know, couldn't see through the waterfall to see, you know, where it was coming from. Why is my rocket quit working all of a sudden? my jetpack all right it's not important let's get going and we'll check out this little box up here oh this is here for i'll take that i'm gonna touch the, not gonna touch the rest of it i mean i could you know sell some of that stuff but other than that i don't see a point in it oh look at all the fish down here oh that's too cool Wow, this is really swarming with them. Check out this little tunnel first. Yeah, it's just a box down here. Anything here I want. I'll take the fuse. Uh, that's really all I want out of here. Actually, you know what? I'll take this too. Because I'm not manufacturing explosive powder yet. Um, I don't know if I'll really even need to manufacture explosive powder because we don't really use a ton of it at this point in the game. I'm gonna grab some air and then we'll go down the other way. Speaking of storms, sure sounds like why was it taking so long for me to reach the surface? But why is it so hard for me to see anything? <laughs> why is it so dark? It's really weird. And why is the ceiling in here look so strange? <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh, the orange or pink, not the orange, the pink, whatever there. Uh, which way am I going now? This way, I think. Yeah. Fortunately, having been through here and not being too worried about the contents of this uh, whole area. They don't have to worry too much about uh, time. Oh, take that. Don't need the rest of that. I won't surrender. This is Iklis again. Wow, he, he built stuff all over this stupid planet. <laughs> <laughs> so he was going deeper trying to find a way off the planet. Uh, I don't need any of that. Don't care about the circuit boards. I'm making them, so I don't really care about finding them. There's nothing back here, it looks like. Okay. You're almost out of air. You're going to make Growler die of no air <laughs> how eloquent growler uh that's why i brought two air bottles hello oh yeah then we got this the self should not exist that's why we ha 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 that's what we have been told since we were born as one we live i'm not going to read all of that no we use our first oxygen i still have the blueprint up for uh the other thing 
The little wood things under the water here strike me as strange. <laughs> So I wonder if we got to this very quickly, would there have been no water in here? We probably couldn't have gotten down in here or, or more accurately could not have gotten back out of here. If we had gotten down in here, God, I hate the fact they turn off the stupid rockets. It's such a pain in the rear, especially when you got a steep set of stairs like that, you can just barely get up it. We want to survive. Okay, yeah, we know they built their own little rocket thing here. Okay, somewhere around here we should have, yeah, some golden frog eggs. I've noticed at least one of these little ponds, the one near our base, keeps respawning generic frog eggs, which is really interesting. I'd never seen any of those respawn anything before. keep expecting to be able to get pack and i can't <laughs> oh god now i'm stuck down here there we go this way anything down there i want down there i don't think so Yeah, I know some of these puzzles, they want you to, you know, jump through and stuff. They don't want you to be able to just fly your way through them. But it's really, really annoying. <clears throat> so some of them left. I guess young ones who didn't really believe in all of the whatevers that their elders believed. I don't wonder if that's setting up for a sequel game where we go to another planet that they inhabit it. I don't know how that would work out with the planet crafting. <laughs> These people just keep going and ruining planets. I wonder where that comes out. It's obviously heavily wooded up there. It would be interesting to see from the other side. There should be some more frog eggs around here somewhere. Here we go. Golden frog eggs. And a drink of water. Okay. Well, nothing new up here. So, I guess we will head back. Okay, this is really driving me batty. I'm, really, I'm surprised that's not more melted. Um, but it's really driving me batty that I couldn't find where the uh, other end of this was. Um, pretty sure this is a dead end here. Yeah, this is a dead end. I don't think I ever came in here. I don't think I ever needed to come in here. We were able to get all the uh, stuff we needed without doing that. Basically, if you keep following this to the right, there are, I think, two exits out of here. One of them comes out on the side of the crater. Oh, and it's, of course, it's nighttime, so I can't see anything. Yeah, here we go. So you just keep following it to the right. It comes out behind a waterfall. And it's dark, so I can't see where the heck I am. <laughs> oh, God, the darkness in this game is driving me bananas. So where are we? So here's the ramp up. Is that it hidden behind the the weave of uh, stuff there? I think it is. Let's see if I can get back across there to it. Yep. Oh, no. This is a different cave. Well, how many caves are there here? That... 
Where does this... Oh, no, it's just it hadn't rezzed in. I was going to say, where does this go through to? <laughs> uh, all right, all right, all right. Uh, mystery solved, at least. Let's head back. Well, we way more than <laughs> got our bees. We're already 589 out of the 300 or so we needed for this. Uh, we're getting closer and closer to the butterfly farm tier two, which will be really handy when we get that. Now we do have some more frog eggs that we can put out. We also can do our uh, beehives. We can upgrade our beehives. Let's grab that. That's right. No, that's not right. That's right. There we go. And what was the other thing? Bark I need. Okay, and I think we can go ahead and upgrade these now. And that'll be nice because these will now give us... Uh, um, please tell me you're empty, yeah. These will now give us... And you get a honey, okay. Um, bees as well as honey. Okay. And now we should be able to just put these right here. Okay, so that's these four, and these will supply honey and bees. Oh, I'm going to need to set up a box for bees, too. Let me do that real quick. Uh, I think I was putting that over here. Bees demand bees. There. Now we'll start. It'll be a lot easier to get rockets up and stuff now because we'll have tons of bees eventually. All right, let me get these all upgraded. I don't know what it is. Why, when you first put any of these things in since the last update, they they just sort of hover around and don't do anything. <laughs> um, okay, so we got we actually got quite a few frog eggs. Um, I think the zeolite cave gives you actually these trade you eggs instead of the generic eggs so we've got those of course we have our golden ones too so we can actually get five more of these out what do we need for these the amphibian farms we need common larva water and fertilizer i just put a bunch of fertilizer away so how many we can do five sort that Common larva I'll just take from here. What else? Oh, and water. Okay. Um, I got the other frogs over here. I guess we'll keep putting them in the same area, more or less. Let's do it this direction. And it's getting dark again, because of course it is. <laughs> Stupid dark. I hate it. There. That one. That one. That one. One. And that one. Now we're creating a ton more frogs. I haven't seen any more frogs in the wild. I mean, we see them around these little ponds, but I don't think I've seen any anywhere else just you hopping around. I wonder if, if they are somewhere out there doing that. Uh, let's see what we did here. Animals are moving. They're not moving super fast, but they're moving. Again, our frog displayer, which I don't know, these display ones I just find kind of morbid. <laughs> I, I don't really want to use them. Yeah. yeah. I guess you just put an egg in them once you, uh, 
once you get them. This, you know, next video, I'm going to have to try uh, getting out to another place to see if we can find some of the solar quartz. We have not found any of that yet. And I don't know why. You would think there'd be a little bit, at least, in all of these places. We've got two difficulty fours, one difficulty fives, rarity one, rarity four. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, oh, as you can see, I did get the domed room in. Uh, I've not put anything in it yet, but we will get to that, too. That's, that's supposed to be Growler's flat there. We haven't built it. And, of course, we haven't done anything about Growler's chocolate chip cookies. Growler would rather have beer. Why were you asking for chocolate chip cookies, then? Because Growler can't get beer. So, chocolate chip cookies are almost as good as beer. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, pretty much. Can't say as I disagree with you too much, although I think I'd rate the cookies above the beer myself, but I can't drink alcohol, so... <laughs> All right, everybody, I guess that's going to be it for today. I don't know when the next video on this will be out because I am running out of things to do. Um, I suppose I could probably get one or two out next week. And then when the update comes out, uh, I'm certainly tempted to just start over again. But I'm also thinking that we can get to the new stuff faster if I just keep this playthrough. So let me know if you have an opinion on that. Until that time, hope you guys are having a good day. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Have a great day.